Hi guys, welcome to the Board of Studies MCQs for this subject, SCPM. It's an interesting subject that teaches you how to be running the business. What are the do's and don'ts of the business? Although business is always like, you know, uh, uncertain. But then studying few of these things try to give you a good amount of confidence how this is to be run. Now talking of your SCPM paper, the moment you clear your CA inter, I always think that try to give yourself paste paper that gives you good amount of time for the remaining six papers. All our questions from the module, the MCQs as well as the case scenario questions are already present on our YouTube channel. If you all have not gone through them, I would advise that you go through them and then come over here because over there I've tried to discuss not only the questions but the concepts, the summaries, all those things. In case you still have a doubt, our telegram channel is there for you all. Uh, you all can write to us on our ID at the rate HNX. And further, in case you wish to be enrolling for our complete course, link is there in the description. So let's start it off. We are on to chapter number one. Our chapter number one is introduction to SCM. And over there, the question for today is assertion. Management accountant being a leader needs to be proficient in decision making as well as making communications in the process of crafting plans and ensuring precise execution okay so this is whatever is a line assertion reason why this is required the role of management accountant has drastically changed in correspondence to the change in the business environment and dynamics now few years ago we always used to be saying accountant is an accountant here he will gather the past information try to report it to the stakeholders and so on and so forth but then over a period of time the businesses have changed businesses have become far more competitive and every day something or the new is coming up in every business who would have thought companies like say uh, general motors all these companies once upon a time were ruling companies like nokia like you know who were the world leaders in the mobiles today are struggling to meet their ends and one of the things that has changed over here is role of a management accountant. Today, accountant is basically a management accountant. He assists the management in decision making. He ensures that all the policies, all the strategies are communicated to the right people. So therefore, they can be uh, implemented in the right direction. So I'll read the assertion once more. Management accountants being a leader needs to be proficient in decision making as well as making communications in the process of crafting plans and ensuring precise execution. The reason the role of management accountant has changed drastically in correspondence to the change in the business environment and dynamics. I guess both the things are absolutely correct. And the reason is like, you know, based upon whatever those guys have told above. Okay, so the question is what beta? Uh, both this, both are correct statement, but the reason is not correct explanation to the assertion. I think so it is correct assertion only. Second, both are correct statements and the reason is correct explanation to the assertion. I think so, both of them are correct. Then third one, only assertion is correct. Fourth, only the reason is correct. Okay. Uh, answer, I think both of them are correct, but I'm reading whatever is the explanation. Undoubtedly, the role of management accountant has been changed drastically in correspondence to the change in business environment and dynamics. Management accountants being a leader, need to be proficient in decision making as well as making communications in process of crafting the plans and ensuring precise execution usually across several divisions and departments of the company of course because every company will be divided into departments so therefore it is required that you communicate the strategies to the respective departments he should observe the professional and business ethics to lead by an example both the statements are correct and the reason is a correct explanation to the assertion so i think answer should be second over here yeah, that's the correct answer. Now, before I end the video for today, a reminder, this QR code will take you to the playlist where all the possible MCQs from the module, including the case study MCQs, are all detailedly explained. So request you all to be watching that in case you need it and share it with somebody who will require them. Thank you so much. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.